Well, if yesterday was any indication of it being nearly summer, of course, this is file video. You weren't doing this yesterday. But it means you may be looking now for a quick fix to get that beach bod back. But there are a lot of potential pitfalls to watch for. Hmm. Dr. Dariush Mazafarian is the dean of Tufts Friedman School of Nutrition and Science Policy. He joins us now to bust some of those weight loss myths. That there, are out there's there. a lot yeah. out there. There's all kinds of advice. There's claims that this and that will help melt away the pounds. Clearly, you don't cut all the carbs and all the fat to lose weight. What to do? Well, it's great, great to be here uh, and speak about this important topic. So what do you suggest? Well, I think, you know, low carb diets have become all, all the rage, also ketogenic diets, and certainly starch and sugar needs to be reduced. Starch is what you have in white bread, rice, crackers, cereals, and, and sugars we all, we all recognize, candy and, and soda in particular. That's incredibly important. Um, whether we have to go completely low carb, cutting out fruits and beans and, you know, other healthy sources of carbs, I think that's a little bit less less clear, but but I think about 40% of calories, uh, almost half of our calories in, in America are from refined starch and sugar. And so cutting out that white bread, white rice, cereals, crackers, and of course, if you drink soda or candy, cutting that out uh, is probably the, the first and most important step to losing weight. You are naming a lot of what I eat, so I'm feeling kind of <laughs> bad right now, but let's talk about those hidden starches, how they can sabotage your weight loss plans. How is that? Well, you know, a lot of people are paying attention to sugar now. And of course, if you're drinking sugary beverages like sodas or energy drinks or sweetened iced teas or that, you know, Frappuccino, which were loaded with sugar that you're getting from the coffee, that's the first thing to cut out. And candy, of course, is, is kind of obvious. But what people don't realize is what I call the hidden sugar, which is starch. Starch is 100% glucose. And um, that's white bread and white rice and, and again, most cereals and, and crackers. And that pretty much acts, that refined starch pretty much acts just like sugar in your body. And there's a lot more of that in the food supply. And so if you look at that you know, low fiber refined starch breakfast cereal in the morning, it's kind of like eating a bowl of table sugar. Okay, you know better, you do better. But what about the new thing about intermittent fasting? What, what's about timing out when you eat? Does it help? Well, this is an area where we just don't have enough science. You know, there's there's some research that suggests you should have three square meals a day. You know, you can't skip breakfast. There's some research that suggests we should be grazing, that humans are grazers and we should be eating, you know, small meals every three or four hours. And then there's another line of research that suggests we should be, you know, skipping long periods, with, uh, going long periods without eating like 14, 16 hours called intermittent fasting. And the science isn't clear on, on any of those. And so I think for right now, until we know better, in terms of the timing of your meals, you know, pick what works for you. If intermittent fasting works, that's great. If three square meals a day works, that, that's, that's great. But I think the most important thing is to not just count calories because all calories are not the same. And so really the top priority should be cutting out starch and sugar and then replacing that with healthy, less processed foods, particularly fruits and vegetables and seafood and especially healthy fats. Overall, what can we do to take charge of our diets here? What is your advice on what we should do? Well, you know, if we could all shop at the grocery store and cook our own meals all the time, that would probably be the most important thing because it's really the, the packaged and processed foods and restaurant foods that are the most problematic. Of course, in real life, most of us can't do that all the time. It's incredible, incredibly challenging. So I think it's, it's really thinking about, of course, cutting out soda and candy, but think about starches like bread and rice and crackers. Think about, think about that as the side, as the side on your plate, not the main part of your plate. And load up your plate on you know, fish and, and chicken and fruits and vegetables and beans as much as you can. And then really load on the healthy fats, fats from avocados, from, from fish, from you know, olive oil or soybean oil or other kinds of cooking oils. Those are actually healthy oils, plant oils. And so the more oils, uh, healthy oils and healthy foods and you can replace starch and sugar with the better. Okay, Dr. Mozafarian, Dean of the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts University. Very important information. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course.